Hello the internet, my name is Dean and welcome back to another Rails 5.2 tutorial on using active storage for image uploads. This one's going to cover resizing images using mini magic and image magic. The previous tutorial covered using CSS to restyle the image after it was uploaded. But uh, I had a couple people asking how to do that outside of CSS, so this time we're going to take a look at a more back-end solution. Uh, because this relies on image magic, you do have to Google image magic and uh, download it. You can find it at imagemagic.org. There's a couple versions available. There's the binary releases, and there's also links to executable downloads, which are your one-click installers. So I'm going to not install image magic right now. As you can see up here, I actually removed it. That way, when we get to the part of the tutorial where the error would show up, you can see what the error is. That way, if that's the error you're getting, you know what the problem you need to solve is. Because this uses mini magic, though, we are going to run a fresh Rails installation. That way, you can see that the gem is, in fact, bundled by default or included by default with a new Rails application. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in Sublime. And because I've been having issues, I'm actually just going to type spring stop now. That way I don't have to run into this nonsense. Oops. Uh, CD Pinterest. Spring stop. This nonsense with spring causing the scaffold to never generate. All right. So we're going to start off by doing a Rails G scaffold pin. We'll give it a title and a body of type text. And we'll just run that. We can come into the gem file and around the line 30, you can see that we have the use active storage variant gem mini magic. Just uncomment out the mini magic. <clears throat> and then this will run and we can come up to app, assets, style sheets and delete the scaffold.scss. Now we also need to run rails active underscore storage colon install. That'll generate our migration. And then we can do a rails db colon migrate to add that to the database. We can come to the config file uh, and go to routes.rb. We'll do root two pins, oops, pins index. And then we'll come into the models pin.rb and we'll say has one oops, attached. And we'll just call this an image. And then we'll come over to our controller, pins controller, and we'll scroll down. And inside of the pin params, all the way at the end, we'll say also permit an image. The last step will be to add it to our view. So we can go to pins form.html and then below the title, but above the body, we'll just do a div with a class, oops, uh, dot field. And then we'll say form.label image and then form dot file field image and the last step will be to come into our show page and just do a image underscore tag at pin dot image and then we'll close out the Ruby code and that should hopefully be everything so let's start the server and make sure that at the very least this is running so we can go to new pin, give it a title, give it a body, and then let's just throw in these purple mountains and hit upload or create pin. So that gives us our basic image. That's all working as expected. Um, the next step will be to actually resize it in the model. So for that, we need to run a bundle command. So we'll kill the server and do bundle install. That'll install the mini magic, and then we'll just start the server again, and we'll try to work from here. This is going to be where you would run into the issue with uh, mini magic. So for this, we'll do def, and we'll call it a thumbnail, and we'll say self.image.variant resize colon, and then whatever size we want. So for this, I'll just say 300 by 300, and we're going to return this image. And if we refresh this, nothing will happen because we didn't call the thumbnail from our show page. So instead of doing at pin.image, let's do at pin.thumbnail. And that's just 
calling this method inside of pin.rb, which says return this image with a size of whatever, 300 by 300. So that's going to break. And if we hit F12, we can see that it failed to load the resource. And if we scroll up in our terminal to before the error, you can see that says mini magic invalid image magic slash graphics magic is not installed. And that's not some sort of dependency tree. That's just strictly saying you need to either install image magic or graphics magic. So we'll kill the server and we'll run sudo apt get install image magic. And again, you can install this off of the website itself, but I prefer to just do it through the apt installer. And once that's done, we can run a Rails S and refresh. And the image will be resized. The issue is we gave it a square resize and it didn't do that. And that's because it checked the aspect ratio and it's trying to respect the aspect ratio. So here you can see it's 300 by 169. And that's because by the time it resized the width to 300, um, or by the time it resized the height to 169, the width was already at 300. And if it went any bigger, then the width would have been truncated and the aspect ratio wouldn't have been respected. And the easy way to fix that is to just throw in a exclamation mark at the end right there, and that'll force it to resize to a square box. Uh, the final thing you can do is, I think it's dot processed. which I believe does a check before returning the actual image itself. That way it doesn't always have to resize itself. And finally, we can do something with like a banner and then we'll say uh, return self dot image dot variant resize 1200 by 300 dot processed. And then let's come into our show page and I don't know, at the top here, we'll just say uh, image underscore tag at pin dot banner. And then that'll give us our banner sized image. And if you were to uh, do the normalize CSS, you wouldn't have the issue with the padding, of course. But that's about it. There's not much left to cover. Uh, the If you Google the mini magic gem, you can actually see all of the stuff that it gives you access to. This is a little bit more difficult to wrap your head around. Uh, the quickest way to get something like this working would probably be to like create a method, call it width, and then just do like uh, image equals mini magic image dot read and then self dot image dot download, I think and then Im uh, return image dot width. I don't know if that'll work, but if you were to do something like this, that would be how you access your widths. But of course, because you're downloading it, you're going to run into some problems there where you're running an unnecessary download for like width and then height. So instead, what you could do is just run it once and save your data, which has all of that information, uh, including like the uh, RGB channel depths and stuff like that. But that about does it for this tutorial. Uh, I think this pretty much covers it. Uh, there is the option of using, I believe, VIPs, the VIPs Rails binding and using or Ruby VIPs and has the binding and then I think lib VIPs. But this has a bunch of extra build dependencies that are kind of a pain to set up. So I feel like using just built in mini magic is probably easier for that purpose. But uh, that about does it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.